Okay, so uh, Jimmy, we picked the best day to come up here, didn't we? Oh, totally. Look We're on us. the peak to peak. Uh, up, up at uh, Whistler Blackcomb. We're with uh, Paul Wright today, who uh, is an exceptional outdoor photographer, and he's gonna go over some of the fire points of being prepared for winter photography, especially when you're in the mountains. Why don't we go through some of your uh, top tips? Sure. I'm just gonna focus first on the uh, what it's like when I really go out there. So, okay. So what I'd be taking on a say an eight hour day out there, one of the biggest things is keeping your hands warm. Right. So you get the best pair of gloves that you can actually do everything with and never take them off. Once you take your, your gloves off below minus 20, you're hooped. You're not shooting the rest of the day. If I'm shooting action, I shoot an aperture priority. I shoot auto ISO and I have it nailed into plus seven or a full stop to start with. Right. That way the moment I turn this on, I'm ready to fire. The camera I have here is a Nikon D750, only because it's full frame, it's small, I can carry it all day, and it's got a killer new battery in it that just seems to last. And is that your preferred lens? I mean, that looks like a kit lens or something. 24 to 120. Yep. F4, constant. Oh, that's good. It doesn't get the rave reviews. They say it's not the sharpest lens in the world. It's sharp enough. This is a Guru bag, it holds a 600, and it also, the zippers work at minus 30. Right. In the outer pouch, I pulled out the deepest, thickest pair of mitts you can possibly have. And this is if I'm shooting all day long, no. more gloves. I wouldn't take these with me unless it's really cold. They're heated gloves. Oh. So they, they warm the tips. Yeah, Paul, is it fair to say you have a glove fetish? I have a glove fetish. I have a warm hand fetish. Yeah. yeah. We're flipping around one more time though, right, John? Look at this beautiful view. So a little commercial break as we go through the uh, gondola. All right, what else you got in there? One of the most important things is that you're out there and you're safe when you're doing all this. There's a couple of things that take with me. One is a personal locating beacon. And does that work off satellites or yeah, off of cellular? It's a satellite. I also bring out a, an in-reach so that I can talk to people out there by text. The sat phones I find are un, unreliable, but this works really well. Things you want in your bag, you got extra snacks, you got a headlight, because I can't tell how many times I've been stuck in the, in the night out there. Some water available. You have to be able to get to when you're shooting too. I keep it in the pocket. It's not really vodka, it's water, but I can get it out real quickly. You gotta yeah. stay hydrated. Sure looks like vodka. Plastic bags, huge item. And that's for when you go into a warm environment. It will get moisture inside the chips. They're just computers. But wrap your camera or keep it deep in a pack. Three hour re rewarming time on the cameras with it. Or leave them outside the lodge. Right. When you get dirt on your camera or lens out there, really important thing is to have a brush. If you take a blower, the blower will have moisture in it. So you want to be able to brush it off. Well, sometimes it's not as cold as we're talking about. It's closer to zero in the wet coast. And that's when you have to have your camera draped in a diaper. But you've got to have this set up in advance. It's made by Think Tank, great product, works well at cold temperatures. And you're all set to shoot when it's kind of dripping wet. And again, this I can do with my gloves on. My tripod I always bring out in the winter. This is set up to do lighting. I'll put a light on the top of it. Um, it's the best light stand in the world because you know it doesn't have to be level, it can be anything and it'll work with it. But I've got my little snowshoes on the bottom which are really just ski poles. Ah, okay. What do you think of this carbon fiber tripod? Well I like it, I've never had one shatter on me, but the metal ones, first of all, if you ever touch it or it gets against you, you can freeze. You know, we carry all this stuff in a big backpack, yeah. in your back, every yeah. little thing counts. I gotta start packing here because we're hitting the other end. Well thank you very much Paul. You're welcome. welcome.